Williams. They're moving the ball around now. And a good knock through there to Ed Williams. It's into the centre midfield. And he's turned into a possession and he whips the ball into the edge to the far side, over to the left side. So the number two plays up against Harry Galbraith and that's a good cross into the box. But Darlington defence managed to deal with it. And then a shocking attempt of a shot from Joel Taylor. I'm not, not sure what his manager would think of that. Oh, he's clapping it. Making it. Up the yardage to put the pressure on the number two and gets the tackle in. And now Henshaw having to support his fullback. But Kidderminster playing the ball back again. The uh, Kidderminster manager is getting very animated. Tell him to get the ball sprayed around. I think he wants them to keep it moving quicker. Kidderminster now moving across there onto the edge of the box of Darlington Box. And it's a shot. And Johnny Madison's just tipped that one over the bar. Kidderminster using their uh, passing game and Ashley Chambers. Dom Collins just nicking it away from uh, Ironside, but Kidderminster recycling the ball and spraying the ball from the right over to the left side. Playing it into the box, Chambers there. And it comes to the number three, uh, Joel Taylor. But Darlington got back into position and forcing Kidderminster to move the ball back. They're starting to move it to the right side, but they've stayed in the middle. And then a shot comes in from Kidderminster and it's just wide of the post but they've gone backwards but now we see Kidderminster trying to move the ball around again and they're cutting in and they've put it into the box this time cut out by Johnny Byrne but only to the edge of the box Alex Henshaw on it but he needs to get rid of that ball at Henshaw that's it and he finds uh, Elliot Elliot finds Wheatley and Wheatley finds Stice it's good link up play in midfield there they've weaved their way through the five man midfield oh, an unfortunate block there and a tackle there by Joe Wheatley, which the Kidderminster players are seeing as high. And the Kidderminster players are making a, a big song and dance about it all. And there you are. Has he got a red card up? Is that, is that real? Your instructions. Ball picked up there, goal kick, finds Ainge, Ainge tries to chest it down to Thompson and he's won a free kick there. That's their last home game against Ashton, they conceded at three. One of them a great goal, but they're quite cheap goals. They could do with that. Thompson's going to be the man to take it this time. And still didn't take a free kick for a while. Just want that power. Smash it through, Liam Hughes is in the penalty box with him. Let's come on, Tomo. Pups whips it in. Oh, and it's just wide of the. You worry now. Now Ainge is all the way over on the right hand side, and Thompson's over on the left. Is that intentional? The ball now. The midfielder's got into the penalty box. He shoots, pulls the ball across, and another shot from Chambers. Not sure if that got a deflection or if came off uh, Johnny Madison there. Vaughan was just pay not Vaughan, sorry. Uh, Taylor was just powering for him. These comes the corner, comes in the penalty box. And a, and a foul in the penalty box and a Dom Collins has had a foul given and that's a penalty for Kidderminster and it's uh, Donny has managed to save two penalties this season if we include the one away and here comes up Joe inside right footed he shoots and he sends Johnny Madison the wrong way And in the 30th minute, it makes it uh, Kidderminster 1, Darlington 0. And reached, but it's just behind their uh, right winger, wing back. But now it's fallen for Declan Weeks, who has a shot. Strikes his own man, Ironside, fortunately for Darlington. And it gets caught by Trotman. Oh, and, for that, on, and Trotman Darlington. tries to... Uh, Putting us back under pressure again. I'm sure Tommy's just trying to get this game, although this first half seems to be going on forever. Ten minutes to go. Corner comes in, it's going to fit the far post. The horse fall gets his head on it. And there's a free header there in the box from the other centre half. But fortunately, there was men on the line to clear it. And it's cleared as far as Steich. And Steich is now running with it. And he gets up to the halfway line. but. Then he, he uh, Ainge and Thompson aren't there, so it's going to come back again. And it's played forward. 
Good little interchange again by Kidderminster. Finds Chambers. Madison out there, but doesn't fully seal the deal. And it's kept in by Chambers. And now it's with uh, Taylor again. Taylor's cut inside one. He puts the chip in and he finds Ironside. And it's an easy header for Ironside. Unmarked to tap it into the goal. It's the second goal of the game for Ironside. And that makes it Kidderminster 2, Darlington 0. From halfway inside the Darlington half. And he's got into the halfway inside the Kidderminster half. And he sprays it out to Thompson. Go on, Thompson. Proves me wrong. Oh, and he hits it. But it didn't look like it was ever going to go in. But he's won as a corner. Can we catch a break here? South Shields have just gone level. Here we go. Thompson comes in with a cross. It's a good corner. Finds Galbraith. Oh, and it's off the goal line. And the ref's given it. Thanks to the linesman. And that is a goal for Darlington. I'm not sure entirely who's got it, but we'll take it. After seven minutes in the second half, Darlington are back in the... So that means we're back under the pressure again. Kidderminster now moving it again. Ten minutes into this second half. And a good turn there by Chambers. With ten men. You can only imagine it's one of the strikers that will be coming off. And now Kidderminster coming forward. Got to the edge of the box. And number 11 has a shot. And there's your goal. The lack of midfield is coming back to bite us as he ran through there, Ed Williams. Basically had a free run into the penalty box and it curls it with curls it around the Johnny Madison's goal to make it uh, Kidderminster three, Darlington one. I work out whether that's the Joel Taylor that was sent off against Harvey Saunders last season. I can't remember. Jim Clem saying, come on, Darlo, absolutely. Now it's with uh, Ed Williams in centre midfield, and it's broken for... So, Darlo made all the right substitutions right. now. We've got half an hour left. To do something in this game. And now they're jumping into each other's way. Liam Hughes gets the flick on. Finds Nicholson. Nicholson gets the ball back off Stice. Stice. Nicholson's at the penalty box and shoots. And it's a goal from Jordan Nicholson. From absolutely nothing. It just shows you what I know. Nicholson obviously was the right chance. After 67 minutes, it's Nicholson to make it. Could have been to the three. Darlington two. Could history repeat itself of last season? And a timely one. And let's hope it's one that leads to a, another one we've got 20 minutes I don't know which way to go do you want to save it at 3-2 or do you want to do you twist go for risk 4-2 or go 3-3 I suppose that's what you do just near the corner of the uh, Darlton penalty box and he's going to flick it in it's just a chip but it's high and there's your 4-2 for Kidderminster the high risk strategies come back to bite. Let's get them to make it fall. Simple, almost chipped it into the penalty box, and the defenders going missing. And it looked as Horseful who scored 26 minutes in the second half. Livid about it. And a good ball by Hughes, and he finds Nicholson. Nicholson plays at the edge of the box. He finds Thompson. It's amazing they're finding these yellow shirts because they're swamped in and a foul there on the edge of the box. Well played by Elliott. Get the wall back, the full 10 yards. Thompson looks like he's the one who's going to take it. Need some quality here, Tomo. Liam Hughes just going to drift himself into the box, into the, into the wall with Steich. Thompson takes it. Oh, and that's Hughes. Liam Hughes plays it out to Tomo. Tomo plays it, tries to play it quickly. Oh, and 
Trotman just uh, his his head was faster faster than his feet there, and he lost the ball. And that now means Kidderminster can bomb forward, and it's three against three. And the Darling players desperately trying to get back, looping cross. Madison's got one hand on it, but it's dropped. And now he's having to mark the player. Weeks tries to turn and shoot. And he just simply chips it into an empty goal on the 90th minute. And make it 5-2 for Kidderminster. Madison was always struggling. They had no defenders, so he had to 